Hey, I'm Chef Aaron Fish, and this is Fish Food, where we make tasty, approachable snacks. And today, we're making rump shaker cured salmon with bagel chips and labneh. All right, so this is like a two or three day process. So you wanna get started ahead of time. So first thing we're gonna do is cure the salmon. Now, I've weighed this out. It's a 12 ounce filet of salmon. And what you want with your cure is to be about 50% of the weight. Mix this up real good. And we're gonna come over to our fish. Now, I'm gonna take some of the cure. I'm gonna put it on this pre-lined out two pieces of plastic wrap that I have. We're gonna go skin side down. Push it on. We're gonna dump the rest of this cure on here. I know it seems like a lot, and it's okay because we're gonna wrap it up real tight and press it, um, and it's gonna help draw out the moisture. Okay. All right, so now you wanna press it, and I like to use something kind of like one of these square pans. Um, you can use round cake pans, you can use um, whatever you have. You just need to have something that has a vessel to be able to catch the liquid because as it's sitting in the fridge over the next 24 to 48 hours, it's gonna release a lot of liquid. So you're gonna set it in here. I'm gonna top it with another pan. It's about the same size. And I like to just put like, like a can of um, whatever and a jar or whatever on there and then just kind of give it a good press, and put it in the fridge. And then every 12 hours, you're gonna to wanna to flip it over um, if possible. If it goes a little over, a little under, no big deal. All right, so we've got our fish in the fridge and I've got another part of this dish that's gonna take a day or two as well. Um, you can speed up the process if you forget or you wanna make this same day. Um, but we're gonna make lab now, but that is a strained Greek yogurt. Um, so the Greek yogurt is already pretty thick as it is. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in a little mesh of uh, cheesecloth. Um, you can use a coffee filter if you don't have a uh, cheesecloth laying around, but a coffee filter is a lot thicker and it's, it's gonna take a lot longer for it to strain through. So what we're gonna do, the yogurt in here, um, and then just kind of give it a fold over. And we're gonna weigh it down with something on top and just put it in the fridge and pull it out when we're ready for our, our salmon. All right, we're gonna make our bagel chips now. So we're gonna take a bagel. Uh, you can get any bagel you like. It doesn't, I got an everything bagel. Um, onion bagel would be good with this. Um, if you really wanna get weird, blueberry bagel would be uh, pretty good with this. But we're just gonna cut it in half. And they're not like real thin chips. We're just gonna cut them into some slices that we can toast up in the oven to kind of make like a crostini. All right, now that we got our bagel chips all cut up, I'm gonna toss them with a little olive oil, um, a little bit of salt, and then I'm gonna put some togarashi on mine. I mean, I love togarashi. If you've seen the show before, I use it on all kinds of stuff. But another blend if you wanna use, you can use harissa. Um, basically, I just wanna make it a little bit spicy. Um, you don't have to put anything on it, uh, but you do wanna put some oil and some salt. So let's get it all juiced up. And with the light. We don't need very much because there's salt already in the bagels. Just enough to kind of help bring the flavors through. Okay. Put the togarashi in there. You don't need very much. It's pretty, lot, basically ground up chilies and sesame seeds. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on this uh, sheet pan. We're actually, we're gonna grease it up a little bit. Move it in with our hands. This is gonna help them toast up on both sides. And that's why I don't like to really put um, anything down on the pan because I want it to, the pan to get hot and to crisp up the, the chip, bagel chip. All right, so we got our chips all lined on our sheet pan. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a preheated oven. I set that oven to 350 degrees. Uh, if you have a convection oven, um, I'd, I'd go more like 325, um, but I don't. So we're gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven. Keep an eye on them, five, 10 minutes. You might, you're gonna have to flip them over. Uh, take them to the, your desired doneness. Not burnt, right? All right, let's go ahead and finish up the labna. So I've been pressing mine. I used a, I have a gallon of white vinegar. Um, not everybody has this on hand, um, but that helped get it pressed pretty quick. It only took about 20 minutes. It's gotten to where I want it to be. If you come up here, I'll show you. Pull this off and you can see all that liquid it drained out of the bottom. So what we're gonna do is pull this out, unwrap it. And you can see it's already, it kind of looks like a cheese. So a lot of people say labna is a cheese and I guess kind of it is, but it isn't, so cultured and uh, strained. 
Okay, so we're gonna add some olive oil to it, some salt, some smoked black pepper, and some Mediterranean spice blend. And the spice blend, the Mediterranean has some salt in it too, so um, you wanna be careful about but not over salting it. And you can use a spatula to stir it up like I am, or I have a whisk. Um, depends on how thick it is and how big of a bowl you have. Alrighty, so I had a piece of fish I cured a couple days ago. Um, I went ahead and pulled it out, rinsed it off, and uh, we're gonna pat dry it. Now, you go 24 hours on the cure, it's gonna give you um, kind of like a, like a little bit more firm flesh than, than raw. You go about 48 hours, it's gonna get firmer, you know. You go any further than 40 hours, it's gonna get pretty firm. So um, take it as far as you'd like. I like 24. Um, it's just, I, you know, I think it eats a little better. So we pat dried it pretty good. Now you can just refrigerate it just like this and get into it when you're ready. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and cut it up right now. So we're gonna take the skin off. Um, I don't really like to eat it, it's a little tough, but I'm just gonna get under it carefully, slice it off. Now you could do this before you cure it um, if you wanted to but it makes it really easy. The skin's actually pretty easy to cut through. Eep. Comes right off, look at that. All right, got the skin off, and we're gonna go cut it into some nice thin slices. Don't wanna go too thin, but thin enough that we can plate it and it's gonna look pretty. Okay, we've got all our ingredients ready. We've got our labna. Uh, I made some quick pickle beets um, for the acid in the dish. We've got our cured salmon, our bagel chips, and just some fresh herbs for garnish. So we're gonna start with the plate. We're gonna put a giant, giant hunk of labna on there. I'm just gonna use the spoon to kind of spread it on the edge like that. Put in some bagel chips. You use the, the lab net to kind of help anchor them a little bit. It's a great appetizer for the holidays, maybe if you're having some friends over. Oops. A little olive oil. fresh herbs, and we're just gonna finish with a little flake salt. All right, it's time to get into this. So, as fancy as it looks, we're just gonna build mini sandwiches, all right? I'm gonna grab the best looking little piece of crustini that you can find. I'm gonna get some of this labna on here. Oh man, I'm gonna get some of these pickled beets. Now, if you don't like beets, um, you could totally do something else. Uh, pickled onions would be really good. Um, or even like just some capers on the dish, which is pretty classic. All right, I'm gonna put the pure fish right on top. Grab a little piece of that salt for the first bite. We're going in. Mm. Got like crunchiness and spiciness from the bagel crouton, acid from the beets with the earthiness, as well as the creaminess and the, of the, of the labna, mm, and that cured fish. Man, and that is delicious fish food.